Z Boy Ray here in Jersey, New Jersey Busa. Showing you guys a dash here. So I have to make this video because I haven't seen anybody really making a video on this. You know, they, I think there might be one or two guys out there that make the, um, a video on how to take this thing off, but I thought I'd make one myself. All right, so the dash in there, real quick and easy. All right, this thing has to happen to be the most easiest piece I've ever taken off this bike. Like for real. Like, uh, of course you have to take these two pieces off. You know, this is the top and bottom. They come off real quick, real easy. This is the top of the uh, dash and the bottom of the dash. You know, I took them off. First, you gotta take those pieces of plastic off, which are very quick and easy. And, uh, and this thing, the way you take this off, that's gonna have two screws. That's it. Those two screws right there. You take them off, they're right there. Two little screws and then this pops off from there. See, it's got push push uh, plugs in there, you know? So those go in here. They go inside there and basically, once you release the dash from the screws, all you gotta do is just pull out, of course, not obnoxiously, but pull it nice and easy. And they pop out very simple. You don't have to torque them or pull too hard. They're gonna pop off nice and easy for you. You know, everything is, those are rubber mounts over there too, so you don't have to worry about vibrations or anything like that with this, which is really, really nice. And uh, of course, you're gonna have a harness attached to here, which is that one right there. And uh, it doesn't pull, it doesn't pull off, okay? You don't pull this off, so don't try to yank it out, you know, and expect it to come off, you know, because you might break it. It has a little pin right here. You use a little flat, flathead screwdriver, and you push right here, push down right there, and it comes off really nice. It has a boot on it. You know, you just pull back on the boot. The boot can, pulls back real easy. Don't worry about it. It's not tough to pull back. When you use your little screw, it comes off. And you're going to be pulling it right off of here. See? Right there. And then you can, like, uh, of course, remove the dash. And that's it. If you want to chrome it out, you want to open it up, you want to do stuff to it, make it look pretty or whatever, you know, do whatever to the stash, you can. Or even replace it with a new one. Or whatever you want to replace it because yours you might be going bad this is the way to do it right here you know real simple and easy i had to do it because the reason i had to remove that was because my headlights you know here's my headlight headlight assembly right below it that gray thing circle thing down there is your high beam so my high beam what well, was actually off i and i had to get in there to take it off and see that the bulb but it's an led and i didn't understand why it's off like that it shouldn't be doing that especially at leds can outlive the bike, you know? So I came to find out that the harness for the LED light, you know, was loose and it had came undone. That's why the light wouldn't turn on. You know, that's the same problem you might have with your headlight too. Just make sure, you know, that if your headlight is malfunctioning, it's not going on, don't go too crazy taking the whole thing off. Just check the wire, the harness. The harness might be loose or might it came loose, which was what happened with the high beam, I thought. You know why why is doing that it's not no high beam and it turns out i took the whole bulb out and everything and i did to look only to realize that that the thing was totally disconnected unplugged so i plugged that back together and that was it but there's only one way to get there and you have to remove the uh, dash no getting around the guys you know unless you plan on taking a b c d e f g h i j k element or whatever 18 million pieces off just to get to there. It is a very tough and tight spot. You're gonna need small hands or somebody with small hands to get in there. Or you can do like I did, torque your hand backwards, you know, like so, you know, to get in there. This is the best way, guys. Use your hand like so. If you got big hands like mine, you know, um, you're gonna need to like basically go in there, even regular hands. I tried my girlfriend, my girlfriend's hands and she was still struggling. You stick your hand like so inside there you'll be able to like manipulate that high beam and everything in there, okay? You know, another thing you have in here, you know, uh, is those little side markers there. You have one in here, you know, those were kind of blinking. They have a little LED light to them. You could replace them. You know, the one was flickering and was a little messed up, but that goes there too. I was able to take that off and I'm gonna be reinstalling some new ones, some new LED lights. There's two little lights on in here, but they both light up. One was flickering. 
So I'm taking the opportunity to replace both at the same time, okay? So that's basically it right there. Everything works just fine. All I need is those LEDs, but if you're gonna get to here, the best way to do it is like I said, right through there. You know, I know some of you guys own booths and already know this, and, uh, and I'm preaching to the choir on this, whatever, but this is for people who, who have never gotten in their, you know, high booths or whatever. They've never gotten in the dashboard or looking to find out how it's done or whatever, you know. Anyway, guys, peace, love. Keep on riding, practicing, and uh, stay safe out on the road, all right? Peace.